Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about proper lettering in graphical communication. We should always write neatly, but since graphical communication is a visual subject, it is more important so that our work is presentable. I have prepared a paper here for you, and as you may see there are some lines over here, over here and over here. Those lines are spaced apart, those are spaced apart 3 mm, those are 4 mm apart, and those are 5 mm apart. When you draw those lines, they should be as faint as possible. I have made them a little bit darker than they should be over here, so that you can see them from the video. But when you draw at home, you should make them as faint as possible and you should be only barely able to see them. Now those lines I am going to use as guides. It is up to you to pick your preference, if you prefer the 3 mm lines, if you prefer the 4 mm lines or the 5 mm lines. Some teachers have their own preferences, but if they do not, then you can use any of those three. Now in order to write, we should write block capital letters and with no fancy stuff. So that's an A over there. That is a B, C, D, and so on and so forth. If we are going to write in more than one line, then we should be writing not on the next line, but we should skip a line. And over here as well, always keep a line, one, two, three, four. Now this is correct, this is also correct over here, A, B, And this is the 5 mm lines. Now, those are not correct. So, if you write anything like so, this is not correct. Okay? And any fancy stuff like the number 2, some people to this to the number 2, that is not correct, alright, so those are not correct, the number 2 should be drawn like this, I have said drawn over there, because it's almost like drawing and not writing, you can practice your lettering by writing the whole alphabet a couple of times, and the numbers from 1 to 10, we will be using lettering to label items in our drawings, that is all for this video, thanks for watching and good luck with your drawing.